Okay, I'm going to show you what I'm making for the pressure test and vacuum test. This uh, air pump I picked up at Harbor Freight, 13 bucks. Has a gauge on it. Uh, pretty quality stuff for $13. I'm going to use this to pressurize the out drive. I'm not going to use compressed air. I don't want to put too much in too quick. And while you're pressurizing, you should rotate the prop shaft. And if the out drive is off, you should actually rotate the input shaft as well. But I am not doing that because the drive is still attached. But this is a cool little gadget. I'm going to use it for my um, my uh, card out back that has a uh, tire pressure. It always goes low. I don't have to break out the compressor. And uh, can use that. So that's good buy, 13 bucks. Here is my um, adapter. This is off my gear oil pump. The line, it's, it's a quarter inch, three eighths outside diameter, quarter inch inside diameter. I took it off and that, a lot of times to get these off, these, uh, uh, these whatever you want to call them, I can't think of it right now. Anywho, <clears throat> you have to actually cut this and then take a knife and slice this and uh, the barbs, that's what it is, to get that off. And that's what I had to do with the one on my um, oil pump, was to cut it off and then just slice it, it peeled right off. There's no need to use a clamp or anything on here. And this has no ring on there, so when you screw it in, it does seal. This is a typical Schrader valve for a tire. I picked these up, that's what it looked like originally. And I just took a razor blade, cut around it, and nicked away at it till I could get it down to where it's a smaller size. Then I took a heat gun, heated this quarter inch inside diameter plastic tube from Home Depot, and I was able to push this in. And it's such a close, tight fit, there's no need for a clamp or anything. So, and that's what I used for the pressure tester. I'm going to pressurize it, take it up to 18 pounds as per uh, the instructions in per Volvo, and we'll see if she holds pressure, either hero or zero. And here it is installed. I uh, screwed that in, has no ring on it, made sure it's sealed. There's no reason for clamps or anything on this because it's a uh, barbed fittings. Then the tube goes down to the Schrader valve and you make sure you get a good seal on that and put some uh, pressure in. Careful, do not over pressure it. And when you're doing it, r rotate the uh, prop a little bit. Right now it's not on, it's actually just sitting on there. But rotate the shaft some and record your pressure. I set the little telltale to uh, about 10 pounds. That's that little arrow and it's holding. So, pressure is good to go. Okay, took it up to about 18 pounds. It's supposed to hold 16 to 18 pounds for three minutes as per manual. It's been sitting like this for a good uh, 15, 20. You can see it's right under 20. It's about 18 pounds per this gauge. So, I'm calling the pressure check done. It's working good. There's no, uh, everything is holding tight. Pressure is good. Pressure test is successful. All right. Now I'm setting up to do the vacuum test. Our uh, pressure test was successful. Yay! So, what I have is a new piece of tube. You could use the old, same one. I just have a new piece because I bought so much. And again, I had to cut this off. Use a razor knife to slit that to get it off the barbs. 
So, what I'm going to use for the vacuum is, went up to my handy dandy, uh, handy dandy AutoZone, they have these rental kits. This is pretty much you just buy the kit, it's been used, and when you're done, you take it back. This was, oh, I forgot how much it was, 50 bucks, 55 bucks or something like that if I wanted to buy it. I don't use this that often, I don't need it. And inside, this is actually called a uh, vacuum pump tester, power steering, and brake bleeder kit. It includes a bunch of uh, adapters, has a vacuum pump right here. This is what we're interested in. And that is also a quarter inch barb fitting. So, this is what we're going to do to pull vacuum. And uh, before I do anything, I have to put my finger over it, make sure that it holds vacuum. Because you don't want it leaking internally and you think it's something actually in your out drive. So, this one is holding good. I am going to put it on here on the barb. Again, probably have to cut it off. And I'm going to put it right in our hole there and pull. 14 to 16 inches of vacuum while spinning the prop like before and make sure it holds 15 minutes or so. Spinning the prop. So far so good. We're up to six. Holding at ten. Thirteen. And there's fourteen. I'm gonna let it sit fifteen minutes. Make sure it stays right at fourteen. Yeah, it's shy of fifteen, so I'm gonna let it sit for a few fifteen minutes or so. Make sure it stays, and if it stays, I know I'm hero, not a zero. Okay, it's been 15 minutes, still holding 14 inches of vacuum. I'm calling this a job well done. This out drive, it's a 2001. Uh, I don't know if it's ever been a part or not, but I replaced the prop shaft seal on it. That's why I'm pressure testing this. I've never done a prop shaft seal before and I'm satisfied with the results. So I think we're in good, good shape so we can fill this, call this a job, and get back on the water. Cool. Thanks for watching.